i pa i o to. I na i o. I rogi. Okay, okay, settle down. Thank you all for coming. I called this meeting because there's some seriously weird stuff happening in the cave. Of course, I'm talking about this. This thing fell out of my wife. I didn't put it up there, so who did? Was it you, Jeff? The... Steve, was this one of your pranks? Well, I don't think it climbed up there on its own. Was it rival clans? Bunch of unfamiliar shitheads sneaking into our cave and depositing these squirmy-ass dum-dums up in our women? <laughs> uh, but we guard the cave at night, and we murder anyone we don't know during the day. With rocks! That's right, Steve. We bash them with rocks. Hard to sneak into a cave when your head's been bashed into a meat soup by a big-ass rock. No offense, Daryl. <laughs> Is it the sun? Did we make the sun mad? Is that why it goes away at night? Jeff, do you know? Steve? Alan? Hmm, maybe it's something they ate. Jeff, your wife dropped one of these goofy-ass wigglers. What's she been eating? Uh, Mastodon? Well, I've been eating Mastodon for as long as I can remember, and not a single drooling doofus has ever slithered out of my pee hole. Go ahead, Steve. Uh, uh, so my wife did one of those soft-headed goobers, and we kept it, and eventually it, it was me, but a small me, and super stupid, but with, like, my face and hair. It's over there. <laughs> okay, see, I was going to ask you about that, but I just thought it was you from far away. <sighs> is it, uh, is it the sun? Oh, Alan. You're a goddamn genius! Bye-bye, little me. <laughs> okay, Daryl, you tell the sun thanks but no thanks from all of us. Then come on back down. <laughs> And having learned how to defeat the tiny invaders, humanity was free to flourish. Okay, bye. Shot this dirty criminal up. Hold on. Almost ready. Well, hurry it up. The crowd thirsts for blood. All right, all right. Hold your horses. Oh, it's never a dull moment around here, is there? <laughs> I said there's never a dull moment. Oh, no. Looks like we'll need to hire a new head of execution. Wait, wait, I didn't mean to say that.
Two feathers. Did you signal our neighbors about the approaching war party like I asked? Also, why is your dick out? Gives me a great idea. Hmm. How am I going to create my legacy? I have to juice that the murderer <gasps> could be no one of you, but rather all of you. <gasps> Doctor, it was you who supplied the anesthetic that was then applied to Madame Magdalene's monogram hacker Jeff, which was used to render the victim unconscious. Once the victim was rendered unconscious, the rest of you proceeded to stab the victim with Monsieur Baptiste's knife. Each of you dropping something in your action. Monsieur Edvard, your pen. Madame Rose, your brooch. Monsieur Jean, ashes from your cigarette. And Monsieur Lefou, your passport. <sighs> and now that I have discovered you, I trust you all to turn yourselves in when the train reaches this station. Wow. Murder-suicide by the world's greatest detective. Why do you think he did it? What am I, a detective?
This one's for you, Tex. You was the best darn cowpoke in this here territory, whatever poked a cow. To Tex. To Tex! Yeah, and Tex was the best Viking, too. See you on the Rainbow Bridge, Tex. To Tex! Tex was the bravest goddamn astronaut I ever had the pleasure of serving with. See you in the stars, Tex. To Tex! Well, I reckon it's time. your story, Rose. Take us back. I met the love of my life on that vessel. A young boy by the name of Jack. I beat that bitch 50 